Thanks for logging on to NeoWeather.com on this Tuesday, March 5th, 2013. I'm Jim Sullivan with your video forecast. There's going to be some snow tonight. However, the end of the work week is going to be warmer, and we're probably not going to deal with any unsettled weather again until at least Sunday. So I'll look at all of that and more coming right up. Starting off today with a look at your 3D Max Doppler network as of noon. A lot of sun has broken out across northeastern Ohio, however, some clouds are moving in slowly from the southwest as this pretty large storm system moves our way. Chicago, much of northern Illinois, and southern Wisconsin are seeing moderate to heavy snow right now. A lot of those areas will end up with over half a foot of snow. Yes, some of that is coming this way, but it's going to take a little while for it to move in. This precip here is pretty meager and it's moving into very dry air, so it's going to take a little while for anything to hit the ground in our coverage area, although it will happen first in the southwest late this afternoon. Taking your 3D Max full now, it's active in the central portion of the country, although elsewhere it's pretty quiet. There's that system dropping down, and once it gets to near the Ohio River, it's going to run into some ridging here, so that's going to cause the storm to kind of turn more to the east, so this snow shield's going to kind of turn more to the east and that's going to allow it to graze northern Ohio and it's going to develop into quite a large system here off the middle Atlantic coast and drop a lot of snow there. The rest of the country is pretty quiet if not a little cold and that's the weather we're going to be seeing coming our way this weekend. Taking a look at the numbers for Cleveland yesterday we did 35 and 15 well below the averages of 42 and 27 we have our first 80 plus degree record high day set in 1983 still in the negatives for record lows for a little while longer trace of precipitation yesterday and the sun is now rising before 7 and setting at 622 today we're going to be doing a little bit better yesterday in the temperature department will still be a little bit below normal with those east to northeast breezes making it hard to warm up clouds are going to eventually move in this afternoon with some rain and snow by late afternoon, south and west of town, we're up to an inch may fall through 7 p.m. And then tonight, snow likely for most areas. The heaviest will be south, though, with general accumulations of 1 to 4 inches. Some areas may see a little less up along the eastern lakeshore, with temperatures dropping into the upper 20s tonight. As we roll your future cast forward, you can see... Rain and snow this afternoon, changing over to all snow tonight as that rain-snow line plunges south, and a very sharp cutoff from potentially heavy snow to almost nothing along the lake shore. So that's why we have a steep accumulation gradient across our forecast area. And then this transfers its energy to a big east coast low that's going to bring heavy snow, heavy wet snow to places like D.C. and Baltimore, interior New Jersey, eastern Pennsylvania, New York City, and eventually up into southern New England Wednesday night and into Thursday. So this is going to bring snow to a large portion of the eastern U.S. So across northern Ohio, here's what we're expecting. Up along the eastern lake shore, less than an inch, just a dusting. A good portion of our central viewing area from Sandusky, Norwalk, Lorraine, Medina, Akron, out towards Kent, and Hiram and Youngstown, one to three inches, a light coating, maybe some minor travel difficulties late tonight into tomorrow. And then our far southern viewing area, this is where there will be the most difficulties tomorrow morning from Mansfield to Ashland to Worcester to Canton to Dover, New Philly. That's where you're going to see several inches of snow late tonight into tomorrow. It's going to be a wet snow as well, so expect a slow morning commute in our southern viewing area Wednesday morning. And on a larger scale, ignore the slightly higher amounts in northern Ohio. We shifted those southwards somewhat. But in case you have travel plans, Columbus, Cincy, Dayton, you're going to see a few inches of snow tonight into tomorrow morning out towards Chicago, Lafayette, Fort Wayne, South Bend, Lima. You're going to see over half a foot of snow mainly today into tonight. So there's going to be slow travel out that way, especially if you're flying to Chicago. And then D.C., Baltimore and interior Virginia 
you're going to see very heavy snow late tonight through Wednesday. And eventually New York City and southern New England, like I just showed you, will get clipped as well. So if you're traveling anywhere in the eastern U.S. the next two days, expect some slowdowns. Big picture time now after this system moves by. It'll stay cold through Thursday with maybe some light lake effect snow. It will be just cold enough. However, as we head towards Friday and Saturday, ridging moves in and pushes all the cold air out to the east. That'll set off a milding trend or a warming trend that'll last a few days. Next chances for precipitation come Sunday into Monday. Temperatures will remain near or above average through at least Monday. And your seven day, it looks something like this. Tomorrow, the snow showers and the most significant accumulations will be tonight, although the morning commute may be tricky south of town tomorrow morning. Still cold tomorrow and Thursday. Minor, minor, minor snow chances. So little I didn't put them in the forecast, but if you live in the snow belt, you may see some flurries Wednesday night into Thursday. Friday, Saturday, dry, mostly sunny and warmer. Slight rain chances Sunday, some better rain chances Monday as temperatures soar above normal for the first time in a couple of weeks. Once again, I'm Jim Sullivan. Thanks for logging on. Check us out again tomorrow.